Welcome to the final segment of this in-service presentation, which is about the issues in late-stage Parkinson's. There are four primary issues in late-stage PD, nutrition, hydration, swallowing, and bowel management. Problems with these are serious, and the appropriate treatment option should be explored. There is no specific diet necessary to manage the symptoms of Parkinson's. Individuals with Parkinson's should eat a well-balanced diet following Canada's food guide. People with PD tend to lose weight over time. Tremor and dyskinesia can increase their metabolic rate and therefore they burn excess calories and this results in weight loss. People with Parkinson's may have difficulty getting to the kitchen, making meals, eating and swallowing which can also contribute to weight loss. A diet high in natural fiber is advised to minimize the risk of constipation. It's important, however, to ensure that fiber is consumed with lots of fluid. Small meals, eaten more than three times a day, can also be helpful. With respect to the possibility of protein interfering with Parkinson's medications, levodopa is broken down into an amino acid, and protein also is an amino acid. To avoid competition, it's best to have meals either one hour before or one hour after Cinemat doses. It's important, however, to make sure that protein is not eliminated from the diet of people with Parkinson's. With respect to hydration, fluids should be readily available at all times for people with Parkinson's and assistance given to drink frequently. People with PD may have difficulty swallowing and mentally and physically slow patients may not remember to drink or be able to drink independently. It's important to note that people with Parkinson's are affected by hot weather. Hot weather can cause a person to become dehydrated which can lead to confusion and constipation. One note with respect to hydration. It's advisable to restrict fluids after dinner to minimize the need for the person to use the bathroom at night. Mobility can be reduced at night if Parkinson's medications have worn off. In Parkinson's, swallowing becomes challenging because it ceases to be automatic. People with PD must consciously remember to swallow. Recent weight loss or respiratory infections may be clues to problems with swallowing. With respect to drooling, people with Parkinson's do not drool because they produce more saliva, but because they swallow less often. Recent research has found that chewing gum can help with drooling. When Parkinson's is advanced, food is often not chewed adequately and the person may have difficulty getting food to the back of the throat. This may lead to spluttering, choking, aspiration, obstruction and pneumonia. Swallowing problems are serious and are a leading cause of death among people with Parkinson's due to aspiration pneumonia. Finally, caregivers should know the Heimlich maneuver. Tips for swallowing include providing iced soda throughout the day. Frequent sips of iced soda or ice chips with small bites of food can also help with swallowing. Body positioning and changes in diet can also help to maintain adequate swallowing. The chin tuck posture, where the person holds their chin down close to their chest, may improve airway closure during swallowing and prevent spluttering and choking. Avoiding dry, crumbly, and sticky food is important, as is allowing the person with Parkinson's time to swallow medication and eat their meals. It can help with swallowing if patients with Parkinson's sit in a high back chair and also to time their meals for on times. Many people with PD prefer to eat in private because of challenges with swallowing. When swallowing problems are identified, assessment by a speech-language pathologist is strongly recommended. With respect to bowel management, as a reminder, Parkinson's affects all muscles in the body and as a result, movement of waste through the system takes a lot longer in someone with PD. There are two types of constipation. The person may be unable to expel normal stool due to incoordination of their rectal muscles. This relates to GI tract motor function. Alternatively, the person may have hard, dry stools that are painful to pass. This could cause a blockage and usually relates to hydration and nutrition. Inactivity, not enough to drink, slowed gut motility, and drug therapy all contribute to constipation. People with Parkinson's are susceptible to bowel management problems including impaction, obstruction, perforation, vulvus, which is twisted gut, and paralytic ileus, which is intestinal obstruction. Constipation is a serious issue and it can be fatal and all people with Parkinson's will need a bowel management program. 
Parkinson Society British Columbia has help sheets on our website, which can be a helpful tool. One final note is to remind you about the importance of involving caregivers in care planning for a patient with Parkinson's. Caregivers have unique knowledge about the person with Parkinson's that can be helpful to you in your work. It is also important to provide them with education, support, and resources, and encourage them to promote their own self-care. Parkinson Society British Columbia has resources for caregivers, so please refer them to us. This concludes this introduction to Parkinson's disease. I wish to thank you for the work that you do in caring for people with Parkinson's and their family members. If you would like more information, please do not hesitate to visit the Healthcare Professional page of our website or contact us by phone or email. Thank you for watching.